I guess the topic of the moment is Deontay Wilder. For me, it was a good fight. It was a, I, had, I had Ortiz winning up until you know the, the stoppage, but you all give you all give Wilder credit, man. This guy's got dynamite, and it feels like it seems like if he can hit you, he can beat. You. And Ortiz done a good job of kind of keeping away from the right hand for a lot of the fight, but it seems like pretty much every time he caught him, there was a change in action. And obviously, if you get even, you know, as the later it got later on, once he caught with the last right hand, he didn't, couldn't recover. The guy's got dynamite, and for that reason, he's got a good chance of beating anybody in the heavyweight division. What do you think about the seventh round? Uh, Wilder was taking a beating from Ortiz. There's a lot of internet arguments saying that they should have stopped the fight in the seventh round. I, th I think they could have. I think that maybe roles reverse, maybe they would have. But it's boxing. And obviously, Deontay Wilder showed why they shouldn't have stopped the fight. He, he recovered and he come back to knock all teeth out. So he kind of showed why they shouldn't have. But I can, if they stopped the fight, you couldn't argue. Because I've seen fights stop on much less than that. Much less than that. So, And like I said, roles reverse, the fight would have been over. So. But, like I said, Wilder showed why you can't just pull the trigger in a fight like that because, you know, champions can recover, true champions can recover. We're in a hurt business, man. You've got to give people a chance to at after, the, after this knockout, do you think it moves Wilder up on the pound-for-pound pound list? Yes, but obviously, you know, for Wilder, technically, he's not, he doesn't look like a great fighter, but with that kind of power, it doesn't matter what division you're in, if you hit hard like that, you win fights. And, and, and Wilder, that's, that's pretty much it. When he can catch you, no, pound for pound, no one don't hit hard, hard than Wilder. So, you know, you got to give him, uh, he moves him up, Ortiz is the top three heavyweight, top four heavyweight, and knock him out. Do you think he should be next in line for Joshua? I mean, absolutely. No, him and for me, him and Joshua like that, 50-50 in the, in, the, in the heavyweight division. So, Joshua should want Wilder next and Wilder should want Joshua next. Who do you give the power edge to in that fight? Wilder hits harder than Joshua. But Joshua's more skilled than Wilder, but then a lot of people are more skilled than Wilder. The, the issue is, can Joshua stay away from the right hand? And I don't know. Is that, I would say 55-45 Wilder. <laughs> Joshua's better than him technically, but he might get caught. I can't sit there and say Joshua's not going to get caught. He might get caught. And if you get caught by Wild, now you're in trouble. Are you keeping it even 50 50 because you sound like Joshua? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, obviously, I know Joshua from the amateur. Right. And, and I like him. You know, you know good fighter. He dedicated, he dedicated himself to the sport and, you know, wishing the best. And I like Wild, but I, you know, and I like Joshua. But you've got to give credit where credit due for Deontay Wilder. You know, technically, he ain't the greatest fighter in the world, but that power is ridiculous. You understand? And for that reason, I'll give him the edge over every, any heavyweight right now.